All right, hello everybody, and welcome to some more Kadomon. Uh, today we're, we're just we're just gonna game. It's the the twenty seventh. The game is still uh, you know just released. It was just to the other day, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking to get some more gaming in because I really enjoy this game. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody's been enjoying watching as well. Alchi is uh, definitely like a, a team anchor type of Kadomon, so I'd love to make a team around him. Very cool creature. So, yeah, we, we might play around them. We'll see. We'll take a cannon here for sure. And uh, turning water into ice is pretty good. Turning air into earth is like, I don't know. I don't know. Er air is pretty good. Earth is great too, but it's a, it's a tough sell. It's a tough sell on the, the very start of the game, I think. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pop down a uh, one of these to start. That's pretty good. Pretty darn good. We're going to avoid the elites because uh, they're really, really scary. And we've got an early ox imp. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I do love me some ox imp when we were doing the early access. We, we got lots of great ox imp runs. And I have not run him at all since the full release. So we might, uh, we might run him all the way up. We'll see. At least we've got some early scaling, so even if we do want to pivot off at some point, we can. But uh, I'm very pleased about that. We're going to go ahead and dump knock immediately, as we do. Uh, someday I will be good enough at this game to use knock, uh, but that is not today. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take a bull baby for now. Uh, the carrot on a stick isn't super helpful, but having a full squad is. So we're gonna go with that. And, uh, yeah, that helps with our Earth's energy, which is great. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, move our guys around a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. There we go. There we go. What do we have to work with here? So we're, we're looking for something to really combo with Alchi. So Ally Fainted gained 25% of their positive, uh, status effects. I can think of some stuff that uh, scales up pretty well, and I could get a bunch of stats off of. Um, Monku being one of them, potentially, if we can get some some scaling going with that, that would be good. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what other like little bits and pieces we can get going. I don't I don't think like the spikes are the end all be all here, but we'll see. We'll see what we can come up with. Obviously, there's a lot of stats coming down onto Rebattery. But we've also got any attack gain gain speed, and that that tickles my fancy for sure. That's really good on Sardian. And uh, we can just slap him right in the party. We'll, we'll go ahead and leave Bull Baby around. Will I? I don't really care that much about the Regeon effect. I'm happy to just move him out, keep, uh, keep our team lean. I think it's for the best. And we'll do something like this. <laughs> we've got we've got a lot of team members. Uh, well, uh, two team members now who are literally trying to kill my other team members. So that's, <laughs> that's a little awkward for sure. Gonna have to see how that plays. But other than that, it's looking great. Like, look at this. Look at this team. They're, they're killing themselves a little bit, but... It's fine. That's that's just part of the process of making a powerful team. Is making a team that kills itself, I guess. Um, we could go for a plasmula and speed level it and get some cool summons potentially. Wow, that's so messed up. <laughs> that's so messed up that Owlchi gets the benefits twice what the hell <laughs> why is that remotely okay what why does it get the, so the dusk makes it so i proc twice huh so we really need to think about like what kind of dusk party members we have but like sardian and alchi already looking really good together um yeah, we'll see what else we can do here. Plasmila with the, the lovely shiny. I do like that shiny a lot. Oh, I think there's a thing where you can turn shinies off, right? Here, let me see. 
I, I don't know if that's a thing. I'm pretty sure you can turn shinies on. So, like, we're, we're playing Monku right now. Um, so we've got this shiny, right? So, I, I guess in the next battle... That or the next time I find a Monku, there's a there's a chance that it'll have this coloration instead, which is cool. It's pretty neat. Some interesting stuff. I think if you, uh, I don't know if the, the the shiny Monku is like a pre-order thing. I don't know how that works. Uh, all I know is that I think everybody gets a a freebie, a freebie shiny for their uh, their starters, which is cool. Pretty darn neat. Alright, we're getting some pretty good damage here, right off the bat. Don't mind if I do. I, I definitely want to see more interactions with this party already. <laughs> it seems highly intriguing. We might end up going with, like, an, a no-tank party. So that way we can intentionally die. I think that might be big strats, to be honest. And I, th I think something like Fortoise or Tedum might be really, really strong. Um, but that said, for the meantime, I am just going to try and level up my Oxim so we can get some extra stats going. Titan Claws are, like, weird. They're I think they're okay, but they're not really my favorite. And uh, Toxic Slime is going to be good because we're going to be doing lots of on-attack stuff. So we'll do that, and I think we'll do this. There we go. That seems to make, to make the most sense to me. We've got a spare button here, which we could multiply our dusk even further. Which would be pretty good, but we should think about it a little longer, I think, for now. Frostmall would be really interesting. <laughs> it's, a, it's one to steal from. Obviously, you get a lot of stats from Frostmall. We could also buy a Kittle now. And just start selling things and just bring them in in the end of the game. Just to have like an insane amount of stats to throw at somebody. That's kind of badass. I might be into that. I think we just sit, leave them sitting in the shop until we absolutely have to start selling. That way we can min-max our uh, Ox Imp for now. But I, I think that's the route we're going to go. So we're going to let some guys stack up, and we'll, we'll see how this goes for now. Um, Krakut is a funny little guy, but he, he doesn't scale up like I need him to. Uh, yeah, we, we, we're very concerned with finding, like, um, permascalers. Or sc scalers that uh, get to keep their stats over the course of the battle, at least. So Sardian is, is perfect. Alchi's perfect. Monku is perfect. Oximp is, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's doing his thing. I'm a little sad to think that I'm considering getting rid of him again already. But he is a, he's a great pivot. Like, he's just super good early. He scales up fine. But, like, you know, just, just splashing him on your party to start is uh, just a perfectly acceptable way of using him as far as I'm concerned. Here we go. Here we go. Vibration. I think I like a, a rare second form preference. I don't really care too much about his first form, even though it is pretty clever. His second form, I think, looks great. Uh, his third form looks good, but I, I really like his second form. I think it's super cool. Um, okay, so we're, we're going to pull the trigger on the Kittle play. So we're going to do that, and then this, and then we're going to put all the HP on Alchi. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to start selling dudes. That's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the play. A little bit weird, but I, I think that it's going to be really good long term. Ooh, a dude. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do this. Always got to play around your dudes. They're, they're real spooky. Real spooky scary. They're absolute menaces. My goodness. Hopefully that extra speed helps Monku a bunch. The attack was really good, that's for certain. Look at that. The damage numbers are coming through pretty nicely. 
I gotta say. <laughs> the dude didn't even get the kill. That's amazing. It's pretty good. Pretty dang good. Um, Dude's got a wicked ability. Super, super good ability. I could see running them up at the front. We're going to try to keep Vibration going as long as we can. But I will pivot when the time is right. Toxic is not the kind of party that I want this to be. It's not what we're going for today. Although, well, I mean, it's too late now. But I would get double Toxic procs from the Dusk, which would be pretty good. But we're not doing summons yet. I do have a summon pivot in my head, but I don't know if I have access to the Kadomon that can do it yet. Uh, so yeah, that's that's something that we might have to wait on a little while. I gotta do some more summon teams to unlock some more. I'm trying to figure out who I should level up here. I think Owl is probably the one. Owl is probably the one. Th this creature just goes so hard. They get so dang strong. Alrighty, we got another Dusk potential here, which is great. Um, Brute Barb has a really great item. And other than that, we could get some more level up on Scowly, but I, I don't think we're super concerned with that. And I, maybe I should have moved my Monku back, but it's fine. I, I definitely should be having Monku getting attacked by Sardian, though. That's a bit of a mistake on my part. Actually, having Sardian be the frontliner would be kind of sick. If we could get enough HP onto them, that would go hard. It'd be super duper strong. We'll see how doable that is, but, you know. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance we can make that happen. But yeah, Monku has a, um, a split evolution as well. And it's just to pair them with four melees. I don't know if we're going to be going for a split evolution. I think I've been trying a little bit too hard to force them. Uh, recently, so I, I just want to like goof around, and not worry too much. Bulbish would be great. Um, I think we're gonna say goodbye to Vibration. He's done his job, but Bulbish is gonna go crazy here. I guess we could do both. There's nothing stopping me from doing both. We could do this. Because the beauty of Bulbish is I'm going to be able to mass sell to get Kittle super speeded. So that way for like... I I'm already thinking about like the last boss, by the way. Which is <laughs> maybe incredibly silly, but... Or, or maybe not even the last boss, but maybe like a, a vital fight or something like that, you know? Some, some sort of super important fight we need to win. Let's go ahead and uh, get Sardian leveled up. There we go. We're definitely running quite a few Metamons. Uh, I, I think, like, Scowly is considered super, super strong. Whalebone is really, really good, too. But, you know, it's it's one of those things. You gotta, you gotta use the good ones every once in a while. It's not like I'm using them every time. Also, I might want to put that jar of dirt over on Whalebone instead, so that way I can frontline Whalebone. Because I think Whalebone has a pretty good ability um, to deal damage to unit ahead. Especially if we can get Dusk leveled up some more. Because it'll just activate on death, and then he'll probably, like, rip through a bunch of dudes. So, that might be a good option if we can get him a little bit more uh, tanked up. So, Jar of Dirt and Vibration would be great for doing that. But, um, yeah, I don't think we have anything to concern ourselves with in this fight. So, we're going to actually speed it up. We're going to speed it up a little bit. Just for the sake of levity. Make it go a little quicker. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good here. Nice. That was a lot of thorns at the very end. Something to concern ourselves with. Um, spare button's great. The fishing hook is tempting because I do love me some permanent stuff, but, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go... Flower field because it's it pairs very well with dusk. Okay, we're gonna be mass selling babies here. We got a, our our baby sales uh, now fully operational, which is great. We can use it for XP. We can use it for money. It's uh it's just great stuff. 
It's that good good. We're gonna put that there and this here, and then... Um, you don't need to frontline yet. But... Why not? Why wouldn't I? Why shouldn't I? Let's give it a try. Let's try it out. Um, what kind of unit am I looking for? The... I don't know. We've already got so much, like, different scaling methods going. It's tough to choose. Boror could get pretty strong with the loadout that we've got going here, too. I'd be willing to ha have, like, a pocket Boror and just sell to, to get it nice and strong. Okay. Oh, I've still got the battle going fast. I I don't want to I don't want to become super speed Andy. I will I will not be playing at that speed unless a battle is taking over long. I would much rather stop and enjoy and try to pay close attention to exactly how my team is interacting. Um, this is not a speed game for me. This is a something to enjoy, you know. See what we got here. Um, I think we will take Minoink. That's just good stuff. We're, go we're not going to worry about where the HP is going. That's not a problem at all. Not something to consider as far as I'm concerned. And uh, yeah, another thing that I need to worry about is getting Hyper Evolution items. That would be good. But also getting... Um, an Ice Cream Cone going. That would be super good. If we could get an ice cream cone scaling up, that would be really, really, really good. And nothing here really catches my interest. The The button's pretty good, but other than that, I mean, we've already got one. I guess we could double down and have our dusk maxed in two dusk, which would be pretty good. That does sound decent, doesn't it? Um... These two are going to make it to level 3, no matter what, so I don't really have to worry about it. I'm just going to sell one, honestly. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at on this run. Feeling comfortable enough to sell that sort of thing. Let's let's restock right away. Um, we can Ox Imp, but I don't know if we'll be using that into late. I need to think about how I am planning to um, win. You know, against the, the the absolute nightmare that is the, the boss coming up. Either that, or I just need to have enough morale to survive it. Because right now, the boss is only doing 50 morale damage as opposed to 100. So you can kind of just freely get past him, as long as you don't take any damage. Which is weird. I don't know how I feel about that yet. It's, like, interesting... But definitely strange. I'm, I'm thinking about this kit zap here. Because we, we do have the revive effects. We might be able to utilize that to our advantage. And I'm a little afraid of that Iguana. I will I will give it the respect it deserves. Iguana's a, a scary lad. That's a lot of money. What did I do to deserve that? I don't know. I don't know what I did to deserve that, but I'll take it. Not turning that in. Taking it straight to the bank. There we go. Look at all that speed on Scowly. I don't know how good that is. <laughs> it's like... It's okay. It's alright. Okay. We gotta start looking at uh, the max health and stuff. So this one would be pretty good. But I don't think it's that good. We, we do need to buy sell, though. So we'll, we'll just take it and sell it. One of these and one of the, these. Him, me, him, me. This Kittle's gonna be crazy, man. I've never run this thing because it's really, really hard to, like, justify a one-time speed boost. But I might use him against knocking. That's quite possible that I'll do that. Um, I'm gonna try to get the the bird all the way up right away. I think if we can get Scowly all the way up, we, we might be able to make this boss fight happen. 
the the big thing to consider is that um, the the boss only acquires the um, the bonuses one time. So if I just get like a a bunch of giant bonus stacks all at once, the boss isn't going to be able to like do too much to me in that regard. So I'm I'm hoping that with that in mind, we we should be okay. I don't know. It's one of those things. Trying to win with a buffing team is just terrifying. <laughs> there's, there's no great answer, answer there. That's for certain. Okay, Kittle is evolving. This is a creature that I, I literally just never use. I, I hold on to them a lot of the time, but I think this might finally be a team comp where they make sense. I think I'm going to get rid of Aquana. I don't think Aquana really fits the team composition anymore. Um... But I'll I'll hold on to my uh, my starter just to see if we end up with something particularly strong. And careful would be decent. It would be decent. Okay, let's dump this one and this one. And now I need to think about these four. This one's staying, like guaranteed. That, this one I really want to make work. Minoink is going to be granting a lot of strength back. Which is cool. Like, we'll, we'll just be doing some nuclear damage eventually. And Careful is going to grant extra speed when Whalebone attacks. Which is pretty nice. Like, it certainly isn't bad. Hmm. I think we might as well just have this. Have an extra Earth. Why not? We can call it Super Earth. Been, I've been enjoying some Helldivers in my spare time. That game is fun, too. Another very fun video game. Alright, that Robonicle has a really scary item. But as long as we don't apply too much frail, we should be fine. And I don't I don't think our team applies frail, so we should be fine in that regard. Although they are a muscle comp, so they've got access to it. Of course. Oh man. Oh man, that's a surprising amount of decay. <laughs> okay, somehow. Whalebone looking to be a menace, for sure. Somebody's got, like, the giant claw, and it's just ruining them. It's messing them up so bad. Which is pretty fa- Oh my god, look at those, that stat gain. That's amazing. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. That's really good news. Hopefully we'll be able to make some good use of that. And let's see here. Um, none of, none of these items really tickle my fancy. I'm just gonna take Fatiki and sell them. And Strength Applied or Ally Fainted. Eh. We do a fair amount of fainting. We don't really do strength yet. Okay. You go and you go. And we're going to continue dumping all of our XP into the bird. Because if we can get him maxed out in time, that'll be really, really good. Okay. We're looking decent. How's the max HP coming? Whalebone's at 27, Scally's at 30. And Vibrace... We don't care about Vibracian or B Brute Barb, necessarily. Okay. We're definitely going to pivot Boror in... Over uh, Brute Barb, I think. For this. And we'll probably button up as well. I, th I think we're actually in really good shape to, to win. Against the, uh, the boss. I was a little worried initially, but... I'm growing increasingly confident. Given how things are going currently. I definitely need to make sure that um, 
My fish doesn't go down too fast in the boss fight, though. We won't be able to frontline it. We'll have to have it in, like, a secondary position. Oh, my God. <laughs> it just blew itself up. That's kind of a thing that happens when you're max dusk on that creature. Scowly just kills itself most of the time, unfortunately. Okay, remember, by, by cell meta. We are deep in the buy sell meta. So we, we buy and we sell. We're almost there on that last level up. I don't know what Scowly needs for their hyper, but I'll take a look right now. Give me one sec. All right, I'm back. It looks like they need scary glasses, which is perfect because that's literally in the shop. So <laughs> just go ahead and buy those, throw that on, and we're good to go. Sweet. Um, let's see what we got here. Lightning. Lightning is really, really good. Do I have room for lightning? Is lightning the best, though? Bug would be really strong. Physical would be good. Fire would be good. I think lightning isn't that good. Lightning is strong, but, like, it's... I don't want to use my abilities more on most of these guys. I'd prefer if we don't use them at all. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give some XP to Whalebone there. Looks good to me. And... Yeah, let's see how this fight goes. Should be pretty effective, I imagine. This rat is a menace. We might just lose to the rat, honestly. Maybe I should have moved my units around a little bit better, I don't know. We'll see. I definitely don't have my units in optimum position. But I, I find that, um... Like, the, the basic fights... Enemies tend to be, like, really weak. And then, like, the boss fights, they tend to be really strong. So it's it's just a matter of choosing exactly how crazy you want to go. Wow, that was unlucky. I don't think the Dusk Brock thing even happened there. That sucks. Oh, man. Vibration is stacking up that bad stuff. Oh, man. We didn't get the Dusk Brock there either. That's really weird. I wonder why. Hopefully we get the... Wait, is Dustproc just going to kill Brute Barb? It might. I guess we're taking a little bit of damage here, probably. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. It could have been a lot worse. Could have been significantly worse than that, so I'm not too worried about it. Go take a, Go ahead and take a Heaven Piercer here. And uh, we'll go ahead and... Okay, that goes there. And we'll level you up. And I messed up. I thought I was doing it right, but I didn't. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's alright, it's not a big deal. It's a, a little bit unfortunate, but it's okay. Trying not to worry myself over little details like that. It's a video game. You can make mistakes. Especially a single player video game. You can you can make all sorts of mistakes and get away with it. It's kinda great. Kinda great. Just make a couple good decisions and still win. Um we want to be silly? I, th I think we, we get the extra types. An additional Dusk would be great. I'm going to throw that on Prancier. Because that's, that's some forward thinking. Some extremely forward thinking, but I'm into it. Here we go. Unit evolving. That was what you already were. Huh? Okay. <laughs> give, give it a, give it another chance. Another dusk typing, really, really. Who's gonna be my fourth unit? I think we're kind of min maxed on dusk already. Uh, I mean, we don't need the XP, that's for certain. I guess we could give it to Pay Gusto just in case it ends up being a, a part of the team. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Definitely interesting that I'm able to make such adjustments. We'll see how this goes. Whalebone getting tankier like this is going to be really nice. And Spectrunal already has like a surprising amount of HP. Okay, Spectrunal decided they they were 
ready to consume. <laughs> it's, it's rather violent. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's hope the the speed that's play at play here is enough. Vibracian doing a good job surviving despite being on uh, literally no health at all. Nice. Very nice. Oh, here we go. Their final form. Hyper Spectrinal. God damn. <laughs> it's a terrifying creature, man. Gain six speed, deal five damage to four random allies. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Holy cow. I'm going to be killing myself. Oh, man. That is scary. Um, Maybe I should have given the dust to Chimpire. Should have thought about that. I'm not too worried about it. Um, remember, buy sell. We don't care about XP. You just naturally get level 3 anyway. The current... Uh, oh, no, wrong bird. Wrong bird, that's a horse, not a bird. Similar but different. One of those situations. Alrighty. God damn. Looking awful strong. Let's, uh... Hang on, how close are we? Okay, I'm just gonna hit continue. And we're gonna hook over here. Toxic. Now we're talking. That's the type I want. A little bit of toxic type would be very nice. There we go. And now we need to get ready for this boss. So, I'm thinking these two are getting replaced by these two. And we're looking at this order, I guess. Maybe something like this. I don't care if Boror lives or dies, to be honest. So I'm okay with just doing that. We're at four, which is good. We can get some fire if we want to go that route. We'll make them stronger. But I think it'll make us even stronger. -er. So I'm going to say that's worth it. And is there anything else that I can do on this page? I think we're done here. We're ready to do a, a restock, but we don't have one. I guess we're sending it. I've, I've, I don't know. I This is kind of a brute force team. I could save the Prance here and use Pegusto instead. But I don't really have that high hope for that working, so we're gonna we're gonna use Francier's uh, giant speed bonus here. Okay, got 15 speed somehow. I don't I don't really know how. <laughs> it was supposed to get one. It's alarming. We'll see how this plays. Okay, that's that's a lot of strength. I'm hoping that uh, that there's some trickle down economics that are gonna go on here. We're uh, we're definitely scaling up. It's, it's just going to be... Oh, that's... <laughs> that's 200 speed! Holy shit, that's 800 speed! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit, dude, it's got 1,000 speed! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was so cool! Holy shit, man! Holy cow, that's a lot of speed. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's... Decidedly pretty good. <laughs> I think on attack, attacker gains max HP is gonna be pretty good here. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud, you know? I'm just, it might be, might be kind of strong. Okay, Prance here, get back. Oh my goodness, that was so cool. Alright, we need to we need to farm as many buffs on the Prance here as possible. A hundred percent status effect. And then like times four from the dusk bonus is so so crazy. How fucking cool is that? Okay, well I'm I'm very confident this is this is literally it. We're done. We're done here. We just We're we're here to to just set these guys up now. That's it. Uh, any attack gained, gain speed. Gain fast, gain HP. Is also really funny. Um, 
Man, oh man, oh man. It's tough to pick who to scale here. <laughs> Boror just exists to die. He's literally just going to stat boost people one time, and I'm okay with that. So we're not going to buff him up at all. And, uh, yeah, these guys are my farm, and we're going to restock now. Actually, I'm, I'm going to try to get him to level 3, because it's going to be a, a good uh, amount of extra HP over the course of the run. Okay. Um, sunglasses. I'm going to go ahead and check what the hyper is for Whalebone really quick. Give me one moment here. All right. I'm back. I now know what all the hyper evolutions are. I don't think I'm going to get any of them except maybe Boror, honestly, based on what I'm seeing. It doesn't seem super likely, but we'll uh, we'll try our best. I think I'm going to hunt elites. I think we're strong enough, and there's not really too much else to go for. So, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at. It's, uh, it's elite hunting time, which is exciting. So let's take a look at the paths. What do we have? We've got two elites, and I can only get one. What a shame. What a darn shame. Well, this path has like a million campfires, which seems fun. I like camping. I like camping very much. Whalebone. We could definitely grab that. I don't know if that's going to eat a bunch of my cells from... Brute Barb, because I haven't been paying attention to how they interact with that. So we, we might end up nerfing ourselves down a little bit, but we'll see. With any luck, we won't. Okay. Brute Barb kills himself. It's so goofy. Oh my gosh. Dude, spec Hyper Spectrnal is kind of terrifying. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a little afraid. Look at this thing. It looks like it's a, a nightmare creature, for sure. All right, they're just just casual forty-two thorns for no. Okay, that's that's good, I guess. Just unnecessary amount of stats. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, we got to keep our buy sell meta. Buy me, sell me. There we go. Audio cable is pretty fantastic, but we are not really an energy team. We don't want to have energy, weirdly enough. I'm going to level up Kittle. I think the sooner we level up Kittle, the, the better. That's the next most important one to get a level up on. All right, here we go. Big moment. We're going to win this. I definitely should have swapped on somebody else. <laughs> I should I should have had Boror in on this fight. This is going to be very unlikely to What? It just ate my prox. Oh my god. What a jerk. What an insane jerk for doing that. That's nuts. I did not see that coming. Yeah, we're uh, we're donezo in this one. This is a rip for sure. There's no win in this. <laughs> Valiant effort by the tanks, but I, I'm not sitting through that. That's for certain. It'll take me ages. Okay, so we're up to 23 attack, which is pretty good. I don't know what the speed is on Prance here. It'd be nice if it showed what the the bonus was. That is currently not a thing in this version of the game. Earth type. I have no interest. Let's go ahead and get some level up on Prance here. And physical type, not what I am after. Let's try to get uh, that level 3 on Boror. And we're going to skip the rest of these campfires because they are not providing extra cell triggers, which is the most important thing to me right now, is my cell triggers. I gotta, I gotta get my cell triggers going, you know? That's what it's all about. Imperial, looking pretty cool. But yeah, it's it's really cool to to do like a partial battle effect, partial scaling team like this. I th I think Vibracian and and Brute Barb they're they're just like really solid guys. They're very good. Although I don't think Brute Barb is like very good in a dusk synergy because he just kills himself. <laughs> so that's kind of unfortunate. But 
I mean, I guess in this instance, it's really not that big of a deal. Scoopsie, I wish I had found that guy sooner. I should have hunted some ice down. That would have been a, a good addition to the team. But that's okay. It's fine. You don't need to have the most flawlessly optimized team. Especially when we're already doing this much. I feel like if you have a good understanding of the synergies in this game, it's just pretty easy peasy. It's not too bad. Uh, how? That's a that's a good question. How's everyone else been faring in this game? Because I really, really struggled day one. Like I had a really hard time. Twelve hours in, I I, I think was when I got my first win. It took me quite a while, but um, once I got it, I was cruising. So I I don't know. Just realized there's a Tedum in here. Hmm. Mmm, a little bit of experimentation time, perhaps? Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need the extra max HP. I'm gonna leave the Brute Barb there, and you can go there. And we're gonna pull some shenanigans. Let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can pull here, and then I'm gonna restock. Um, nothing that we need, that's for sure. Unfortunate, because that's our last restock. And any anyone good here? Uh, yes, yeah, nice. We can get nice. That'll be good. That'll give us double sale as opposed to one sale. Let's see how the damage goes. Very nice. We can get an early kill. That's great, because that's just more stats on a whalebone. The fortitude's great too. Surprising amounts of fortitude. Because <laughs> Stagnant's doing it too. Oh my god. Whalebone, die already! You're supposed to give your stats over to, to Specternal. There you go. And now Tedum summons another one. And then that one gets stats. And then when that one dies, we get even more stats. You see what I'm going for here? It didn't even work. <laughs> he died too fast. Prancier is evolving. I haven't seen the final evolution of Prancier yet. Durr, Torizel. Look at that. Got like a metal neck. What's that? Like a ventilation spot? And then, and, <laughs> and then it's got... Oh my god. That doesn't seem convenient at all. That is impressive though. I, I know what Whalebone looks like. Ske good old Skeleton. Good old Skeleton. We all know what Skeleton looks like. Okay, let's uh, eat one of these guys and eat one of these guys. And we're gonna... Am I gonna hold on to Scoopsy? I don't know. I don't know. I, I might, like... Is this worth it? I'm gonna try it out, like, a couple more times, I think. It's tempted to try with Torzel, uh, Torizel, but, like, this is... Like, a... He's, like, a boss killer. That's what his deal is. That's that's where he's best. So I don't think we mess with that yet. This'll be nice. I mean, I, I guess we don't go for Hog Spector, even though it's it's tempting. I don't think that's the right play here. Okay. It is, uh, pretty good. That guy is just dead. He's done so. Okay. Hyper Spectrunal just murdering my own team. No big deal. Good god. <laughs> Hyper Spectrunal is crazy. What a crazy unit. Very, very good. We don't do slows, sadly. I'd love to get some extra speed, but that's not really how our party works. I'll take one of these for the extra cash, and uh, remember, we are buy-sell meta, so we're gonna do a little buy-sell action. I'm gonna take Lucha Lore, because I think the other one's a little bit more dangerous with the Wanted. Because, um, you gotta keep in mind that when you buy and sell a unit, uh, there's a chance that they're gonna come back. And that would not be good. It would not be good to have that one come back and put a wanted on uh, my lowest health unit. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good with this setup. And now that we got uh, the, the final evolution, I think it'll be even stronger. Yeah, look at that. 12 damage and attack. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Okay. How many stats do you gain? Four and three is really solid. Oh, it's a bouse! 
I think Bouse doesn't work today, yeah. For some reason. Specifically today. It'll probably work every other day going forward, if I had to guess. Flame Flower or Radioactive Gem, neither of those are helpful to me. So we'll just take that one. And... Looks like this guy's gonna need some help getting to his max level. So we'll do that. Dump that. And dump this little lad. Dump my, my boy. And we don't need a Flame Flower. At this point, we're gonna be looking to buff up Tedum, probably. I think that uh, I've experimented with this enough, so we're gonna go back to this setup. Just to get some more max health going. Just for the last little bit here. And then we'll, uh... We'll have our final... move. I need to... think of how to, like, do this optimally in the end, though. So I, I, I'm not entirely certain how our team is going to look. I have a couple of ideas. The Tedum is like a tempting pivot, but I don't think the damage output is going to be, or is going to warrant having it, to be honest. I think we're going to be better off running some other stuff. That said, the the scaling, like, it, it, it's just a question of what do I, whether I want to burst everybody out, or whether I want to, like, get a more convincing long run win. Because the burst strategy is totally viable, but it's not necessarily better. So, like, this guy's up to 33 attack. Goddamn. Goddamn, that's crazy. Okay. So, this guy's gonna level up no matter what. So, we're just gonna look to get another level into Snice. I think Tedum... So, the final party is gonna look something like this. It's probably gonna be... That. In that order. I think that'll kick some serious ass. But that's not what we're doing right now. We're just trying to min-max our, our gear for the time being. Min-max all our, our guys to have a bunch of HP, and obviously these ones are getting scaled up in their own way from the cell meta. The cell strat. So we're, yeah, we're, we're trying to get this going. Tedum isn't going to be a part of the final party. I've decided. We've, we've already got our uh, our party planned. Here we go. Okay. Um. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. I mean, I I don't even really need to think. It's just more a matter of what do I want to take at the end here. <laughs> that's that's the bigger question at the end of the day. The sheriff's badge is gonna be really really good going into the end here. So I'll definitely be taking that. Sheriff's Badge will give me a ton of stats for free. Which would be really, really good. In fact, I wouldn't mind having two. I think they're that strong. Okay. Looking pretty good. Skeleton is doing all the carrying this time. I'm a little worried my party isn't even going to get to show its full potential. It's so strong. <laughs> I get the I get the feeling that Skeleton's gonna do everything for us. We we aren't even gonna have to worry about the whole the full combo. Which is a little saddening to think about, honestly. But it's okay. It's fine. You'll know just how strong this team is. Here we go. Um, I would love some more tickets. That's amazing. Great timing on that. And let's get our team going. So we got this lad and this lad, and we're going to sell you. And we're going to level you up, just so I can sell you twice. There we go. And one more. Beautiful. You get a badge. And we've got the fire buff now. We've got our four dusk. This is a meaty team. <laughs> this is a, this is friggin' sick, man. This is amazing. Um, attack gained, gain fast. We're definitely gonna take that on hyper spec uh, spectral here. And is there any other min maxes we can do? 
We could... I don't know. We're, we're going to do some restocks for sure. I'm going to keep these guys in my party because they're like a great excuse to wail on some dudes in the fight. <laughs> it's just a DPS test for me. Which is a little bit upsetting to say to, to my own team. But, you know, they, they're the ones that turn on me, okay? It's not my fault. Yeah, let's do a restock. Um, enemy faint. Grant, grant strength is pretty nice. Uh, chariot. Nope. None of these. Oh, it's a shiny! <laughs> oh my god, I almost rolled past him. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I don't know if I get to keep him or anything, but that's cool. I'll take him. I don't, I don't know if this, like, unlocks it for me or anything. Because I, I think it's too late. But that's still really cool. That's my uh, second shiny. Too bad we don't really have a way to use him. Uh, okay, let's roll again. Another Sheriff's Badge would actually go pretty hard, but it would drop our Fire Bonus. I don't think it's worth dropping our Fire Bonus. The Fire is going to be really good. And I guess that's it. That's all she wrote. We're about as min-maxed as we can be. Alright. That's it. Good luck us. We're going into the final boss fight. With uh, a kind of an untested team. <laughs> it's going to be a little iffy, but I, I, I'm confident. I'm pretty confident. I think we're going to have... Uh, yeah, we have 53 speed on Torazel. <laughs> that's that's freaking sick. Holy shit, man. What a, what a crazy unit. Just... If you... You just put them in your inventory, and you wait to the last boss, and then you bring them out, and it's just like, oh yeah, here's a... Here here you go, you win. You just get to win this one. Like, <laughs> nobody else is even getting to attack, because he's got too much speed. Holy cow. Okay, hopefully I don't blow them out this hard uh, this time, because my units are intended to die, so that way we can have hyper spectral carry us. But... We'll see. They, they do get the 53 going into this round, too, which is great, by the way. It's fantastic. Alright, here we go. They have not gotten to move yet. I'm a little concerned by that. It's all bull babies. That's another thing that makes um, the this guy so strong. Is that you just end up fighting a bunch of bull babies, which is... Insanely good. <laughs> you do not have to be afraid of bull babies at all. Alright, is the boss gonna ever do anything, or... Like, we, we haven't even remotely begun to scale. Maybe I should have went for Tedum. Yeah, I think we're just gonna bully him to death. He did get one attack off, but like... Hog Spectre don't care. <laughs> he doesn't care at all. <laughs> Oh my god, we're just wailing on him. <laughs> this... This was... I need, like, a phase three and four for this, man. <laughs> what a team. What an incredibly broken team. I've never seen anything quite like it. That was really fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yet another run of Kadomon. That was a... Uh, that was a beautiful team. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy this, leave a comment, all that sort of thing. It really, really helps, and it, it makes my brain go burr. And, uh, yeah, I'll make sure that I stream this game a bit, too, at some point. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Links down below for all the things that you might be interested in. Well, not all the things you might be interested in, because I, I, don't, I don't know all those things, but I know some of the things that I'd be interested in if I were you watching the video, and they're in the links in the description down below. Okay, okay goodbye. <laughs>